Hmm, guys, have you ever wondered how you can get free damage boost on your gun or any build you like without using any damage glitch? Hmm, <laughs> Butcher will teach you how you can do it actually at 2021. Guys, buckle up, today we have a lot of information, I will show you how you can get unlimited amount of grenades in conflict, how you can break this game with pestilence and ongoing directive set, and how you can get amplified weapon damage on any gun, on any build, at any given day, so welcome to Insanity! Guys, please, before we start today, hit that like, share this video, all jokes aside, I really think that this should be fixed ASAP, and you know how the system works, please show some love, leave a comment, and without further ado, let's get into it, and we are gonna kick off this video with unlimited amount grenade exploit or glitch, you name it. Everything great in this life is really simple, basically you have to make duplicate to your go-to build in PvP. It doesn't matter, if you play with DPS set, you should make copy of this set but with survivalist specialization, because survivalist specialization will give you 7 grenades. So by switching your builds, actually you will not lose your grenades, they will stick to you and you can refill your amount of grenades at any time, just switch your builds pre-save it and at any time when you're not engaged in combat switch your builds or specialization and you have free grenades that's super handy in pvp guys but second glitch is how you can get halo ammo from ongoing directive without using for example rigorous exotic bright chest piece which applied bleed effect jammer pools is the answer guys jammer pools will apply status effect and actually jammer pools will destroy skills and in conflict or dark zone it will be counted as a kill with status effect and it will basically give immediately you hollow bullets which amplifies your damage and applies bleed effect and the best part about it that it has no range limitation if you have sadist you can hit enemy across the map with sadist on and amplified weapon damage but before we continue i just want to let you know that we have some sponsored ads guys if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then deviant.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on xbox they will complete your order twice as fast now everything happens with icon sharing this service has been working for many many years it has tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but with my promo code AirBD, you will have 15% discount on all services. This site supports now all providers as well. Guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to type your message and operator will reply you immediately. And now let's get back to the broken synergy between ongoing directive set and Peston. But before that, keep in mind guys that you can actually get Halo ammo on any gun with jammer pulls. It doesn't matter if it's Nemesis, Pestilence or maybe Super 90 shotgun. Hit the jammer pulls and you will refill your magazine basically with Halo ammo which will apply bleed effect and amplify your damage. Keep that in mind. But how it's broken with Pestilence you would ask me guys. Actually, uh, ongoing directive with the Hello ammo will amplify not only pestilence damage but unfortunately plague effect as well. You saw my plague effect was 440k without ammo, and difference is a huge, brother. Freaking huge! I can reach 540k damage per tick alone from plague effect. Add to that bleed and you have 600k damage from status effects hold on brother i know plage effect is not status effect but you got my idea and to make all things worse you can pair it up with wild mask what happens in that scenario since hollow bullets will apply bleed effect that will immediately activate wild mask and like i told you before you can get hollow bullets from your jammer pools and jammer pools basically will hit your pvp players or agents as well and they will immediately receive <laughs> wild mask debuff but guys if you pair wild mask not only with pestilence but with 
ongoing directive backpack as well the results will be ridiculous since ongoing directive backpack will increase status effect damage by 50% and duration as well guys but guys status effect is really important since while mask sorry while masks damage is scaled from how much status effect damage you have on your set I don't have any status effect on my build you could draw on ongoing directive pieces status effect and backpack alone will boost your vile mask incredibly well you could throw in mix maybe demolition specialization to get explosive damage boost explosive damage again will boost your wild mask and you can get crazy with this combination and don't forget ongoing directive like i told you before will amplify not only pestilence damage but also plage damage you can play with glass cannon you can get ammo free ammo from jammer pools Jesus Christ, you can play with Intimidate, Spotter, you are not tied to any specific talent in the game. But hold on brother, I will show you now how you can actually get Amplified Weapon Damage Boost on any gun you like or want with any build. We are gonna use the same exploit mechanics from Unlimited Grenade Glitch. Everything is really similar, so for this easy demonstration I'm using one guard built with adrenaline rush but pay attention to my MPX with sadist and how much crit damage I have. So right now I'm sitting at 286k damage per crit, keep that number in mind guys. Like I told you before this exploit works really similar to unlimited grenade exploit. You're gonna switch build but only thing at this time which will be the same on your both builds is gun on which you want amplified weapon damage with bleed guys keep that in mind only thing in this case I have MPX with sadist that's the only gun which is similar between my two builds or only thing which is similar and I will get my amplified damage just like I showed you before with jammer pools, killed that enemy and received ammo. And look, I switched my builds back and boom, I'm freaking magician. Now I have amplified weapon damage on my MPX, but not only that, I have sadist active as well. And that will give me 40% amplified weapon damage. And as you see, numbers are completely different at this time. Now I'm reaching 412k damage per crit plus nasty bleeding status effect and as I showed you at my intro this status effect or these hello bullets has no range limitation unfortunately if you thought that this will not work in dark zone or in conflict I have to say brother think twice this game is broken as hell and just like I showed you before, kill enemy with status effect applied, you will receive immediately hollow bullets which will amplify your damage and will give you that nasty bleed. And now, system or mechanics are just the same, switch to your main build on which you want that amplified weapon damage, as you see I am again using that adrenaline rush and the vanguard combination, but I have now in DZ amplified damage on my gun. With this exploit you can get damage boost on any gun with any build. Just make sure when you're gonna switch builds you have the same gun on both builds. So pre-save. It doesn't matter how good your ongoing directive set is. It doesn't matter. You have to get only those bullets from ongoing directive and then just switch to your main set where you have the same gun saved previously. And that's it. That's all she wrote. This exploit is really simple. With this you will get every time damage boost. But guys, for conflict, I would recommend you to stick with ongoing directive set. Adrenaline rush and intimidate. Just use your jammer pulse. Receive amplified weapon damage on your lady dead. That will stack together and apply bleed effect. Super dope combination. For PV guys, that, that not only for PV, pestilence wild mask and ongoing directive backpack can do insanity 
third glitch was grenades you can spam grenades non-stop again you need in this case two same builds exact same build only thing which will be different will be specialization since survival specialization will give you those grenades switch between specialization and boom you have non-stop grenades and fourth glitch is damage glitch so i have i think you have a lot of information today thank you for watching share this video see you soon